Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. T-600, the first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? 
perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. 
You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over.
Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on them. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You might not be qualified to judge, but you're an outstanding police officer. And a good person. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. Must have known where the deviants are hiding. The android that murdered its owner.
It's dark. Where? Where am I? I'm a deviant. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone! recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station. 
station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids wouldn't do any harm. And the cops just... You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Then you'll have to shoot. Because I have no intention of letting you take me alive. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide.
They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Carol? Quick, we've got to get out of here. It's on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Mark it. I won't be long. Explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Uh! It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful.
At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this! Forget about me! Do what you have to do! If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right, you win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, where do we first meet? Jimmy's bar. 
I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us.
Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. Raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends, but the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. Thank you. 